All right, peoples, in this one, we are comparing Oblique Civil's 9.86 run with a possible 9.86 run also by Akeem Blake. Track fans may have witnessed the fastest run ever over 100 meters by sprinter Akeem Blake at the recent Velocity Fest 13 on April 22nd. He dismissed the field with ease and his run was so amazing that fellow competitors in the race like Zarnell Hughes and Julian Force and others had no choice but to come and congratulate Akeem on his aggressive display of speed. Unfortunately, while the entire stadium waited with bated breath and high expectations of a personal best time and a potential world lead, no time at all was allotted to the race. It was alleged that there was an issue at the start of the race which invalidated the timing system. Also, the official results of the race showed Akeem disqualified because of a false start. The whole thing was a mess, really and truly. But clearly, Akeem was on another level of speed and seemed to be running under 9.9 seconds. And seriously, just how fast did he run? We're going to find out in a real way. Last year, May 22nd at the Jubilee Series, Oblique Seville set a remarkable personal best of 9.86 seconds. His run shattered the Jamaican men's slump of slow times and brought on pure excitement back in the men's 100 meters. So now, let's compare Oblique's run with Akeem's run side by side with their starts synchronized perfectly. Both sprinters had amazing starts and quickly separated themselves from the rest of the field. It was almost as if they were running identical races and even the markings at intervals along the 100m straight saw both athletes in sync. Finally at the finish line, both athletes appear to cross in a dead heat. Now remember, Oblique's flash time was 9.83 seconds, rounded up to 9.86 seconds at positive 0.2 meters per second tailwind. There was no wind indicator in Akeem's race, but the previous race, a mere minutes before, had the wind reading at positive 0.1 meters per second. So it's fair to say the wind remained stable and Akeem did not really have a wind advantage. Let's look again at the finish line where Oblique's left foot is on the line but his torso does not appear to be over the line yet. At the same time, Akeem's foot is not yet on the line but his torso appears to be leaning forward, about to touch the line. Man, did Akeem win this matchup? Was it a photo finish between them both? This is serious stuff, trust me. Do you think they are separated by one one hundredth of a second? Or two one hundredths of a second? Again, remember, Oblique's time was 9.86 seconds and Akeem definitely appeared to be on the same clocking. So what was Akeem's time in a realistic way? Did Akeem also run 9.86 seconds? 9.87 perhaps? Yo! One thing for sure, Akeem Blake is undoubtedly the fastest Jamaican so far in 2023. And it's gearing up to be an exciting finish at the national trials in June. Trust me on that. Oblique is fast and Akeem is fast. Who is faster? Alright peoples, track fans know this is exciting stuff, especially for Jamaica. So you don't know, bless up and stay tuned.